Let's take our charts working file and have a look, an experiment and a little play with the options for chart layouts, styles and colors. Now this particular file has three charts, one in the Jan sales summary, one in the area summary and one in the sales. Let's start with the one in the Jan sales summary. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it so it's in its own sheet. That way we've got a much bigger chart to play with. Now it doesn't matter if it is an object in an existing sheet, the same options still apply. Now, if we want to adjust the layout at all, there is a quick layout option up here. Look, drop down, and that gives you a number of predefined layouts for your particular chart type. So if I move through the options, all I have to do is hover. So we've got layout one, layout two. And see how that adds in data values to the actual bars. Layout three doesn't have those layout options. Layout four does have the numbers in. Layout five includes the data table underneath it so you can actually see the data and the chart in the same object layout six has the values in but only for the largest items so for the caravans layout seven has the vertical grid lines and the legend on the right layout eight adds in progress lines layout nine slightly offsets each of the categories so you haven't quite got a solid horizontal line and Layout 10 has none of the minor grid lines, but has the larger grid lines. So some of these layouts make major changes to your chart. Some of them make minor changes, but they all retain the same chart type and the same color scheme. So let's choose layout four, quite like that with all the numbers in. Now we can actually apply different styles. So as well as being able to change the layout, we can change the styles. And the styles are in this little section here, chart styles. It has a drop down, but there's a few more to choose from. Now this again keeps the same chart type, so we're retaining our horizontal bars, but it changes the styles of those bars. Here we've got little white lines through them. Here we're changing the background color. Here we're changing the foreground colors, much brighter colors, a hash grid on the plot area, and sort of inverse colors, a black background, wishy-washy colors, brighter colors, but with the grid lines and then 3D drop shadows. So you can see that each of the bars now has like a little 3D effect. I quite like that, let's stay with that style. So at any point you can change the style by choosing from the list of styles, and you can change the layout by going to the quick layout option. Each of them are independent of each other and neither of them change the actual chart type. We've already seen how to change the chart type. You will stay with your existing chart type. You'll just be changing, turning on and off some of the options, which we can do, when we look at the separate elements, but here you're asking Excel to make those changes for you. And the same with the chart style. Instead of having to go through and alter the colors for the plot area, the chart area, each of the bars, here we just choose one of the quick chart styles and it will apply it. I'm sticking with the 3D drop shadow. Now, as well as being able to change the layout and the styles, we can amend the colors that have been used by our bars. Now, there's a little drop list here of colors. Now, the colors are effectively stored in themes. And the themes that are available here are driven by the themes available to your workbook. So they work in tandem with each other. So I've only got choices here of that set of colors, or that set of colors, or that set of colors, or that set of colors. So there are effectively four color variations I can choose from. Or I can go monochromatic, which really is a single color but different tint values. And the colors are the ones available in the colorful section at the top. There's no different color here. You're just effectively choosing the master color and then fading off from there. So different opacity, really. And then there's a gray option. And then we go the other way. So you can see these go from dark to light. And then we go from light to dark, depending on how you think things will look best. The yellow ones look quite good with my particular layout and style. So your choice of colors, main colors are here. Actually, that's quite bright, and let's go with the bright one. But we can change the choices available to us by going to Page Layout, Colors, and choosing a different theme. So currently we have the Office theme, so that's the Office 2013 theme. We could go back to an old theme, blue warm theme, blue theme, blue green, yellow, yellow orange, 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 red, red orange. So if I went for predominantly red orange theme, you can see that that's changed my color slightly. And when I go back to the Chart Options, and I go to Change Colors, I'm now all red and oranges. So we've got different red and orange type themes or the same options for the monochromatic to stick with one of those colors. 
So the theme of the document is chosen on the page layout colors, where you can change your color scheme. If you wanted to stick with quite a greeny theme, for example, and then on the chart tools design change colors, you are then given four variations of those colors, or you can go monochromatic, so darker to light of any of those colors, or lighter to dark of any of those colors, depending on what suits your particular chart. I quite like that one, greeny variance there. So we've been able to control a quick layout, so a quick move from one layout to another, change the chart styles by choosing a pre-built style, and then changing the color scheme, both of the chart and of the whole document, so you can see what effect that has on the chart. All three of those options are available to any chart you have in any file in Excel, and it will not affect the chart type you have chosen.